we wanted to speak to the black community specifically because a lot of these concerns are rolling around in our community like misinformation, people with the wrong end of the stick. And we, I wanted to do my bit. We all wanted to do our bit. We've got to protect ourselves as a community because whenever I see the pictures of the people that have passed, I'm always moved and shocked by the amount of people, but also the amount of black and brown people there. And I think that we need to address that. We just think it will be a tragedy if a disproportionate amount of black people were to die of COVID due to a lack of take up of the vaccine. This is our way out. This is, this is the way out of the pandemic. We should all be doing it, just get it done. But there is this social media aspect, that's in some of the nonsense that's on social media, that it can alter your DNA, that, you know, Bill Gates has got something to do with it, that's inserting a microchip or something. I mean, th but there's this, which is palpable nonsense, but people equally have genuine concerns about it. So how do you address, how do you address those? We know you have legitimate concerns and worries. We know that change needs to happen in terms of the relationship between systemic racism and this feeling of being hard done by, by authorities and institutions. But we're asking people to trust the facts from the experts. We know, don't we, that the vaccine has been tested and is safe for all ethnicities. Millions of people have taken this jab. And we say that, look, if you've got worries, don't go online or talk to your mate down the pub. Go to a trusted health professional or visit the NHS website to find out more. Trusted health professional, NHS website, golden handshake, jobs are good and do that. So what have you heard people say when they're asked about the vaccine, you know, that made you go, I can't, I don't want to hear this? It's got pork in it. They're experimenting, you know, it's all rubbish really. It's, it's just disinformation. We should work together to support our loved ones and the people in our community to help us all get through this. Yes, we've got to address the health inequalities in our system. We've got to rebuild this trust, which seems to have gone AWOL. But we have to remember that we're all in this together. And the people that have signed this letter, you know, these are not, this is Tandy Newton and Doreen Lawrence and Chuita Lejifor and David Ajay and me and Adrian Lester. This is people who really care about our moms and dads, our grannies and granddads, our brothers and sisters. We want you to know that we've done it. I've had my job and I haven't exploded. So just trust the science and get on with it. Because it, it, individual choice has an impact on society. I'm just seeing a Imperial College survey says, you know, uh, that hesitancy around vaccines could lead to thousands of extra deaths. We trusted the science with MMR and rubella and polio back in the day. I don't really see the difference. We need to keep trusting the science and trusting that we're going to get through this. And we are going to get through this, but there has to be trust and there has to be this sense of all of us working together to get this done. And just finally, what's your message to those who are still reluctant to have a vaccine? Please make the decision in an informed manner. Talk to somebody you trust, talk to a doctor, go to the NHS website, really listen and make an informed decision. Don't make a, a misinformed decision. And we are all in this together, whoever you are, wherever you're from. And we don't want this disproportionate amount of black people or anyone to die anymore. Let's all take it and be safe.